Look out! Superman punch! That shovel's an equalizer. Spear! Spear! This is gonna be one for the ages. We are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Well, the Messiah has arrived. It is time to embrace the vision. The Messiah in his kingdom. Seth Rollins at the showcase of the Immortals. All right, that's it. Michael, you of all people have to remember the heist of the century when Rollins cashed in his money in the bank at WrestleMania 31. He'd go on to defeat Triple H at WrestleMania 33, but the highlights don't stop there, Byron. No, Rollins won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania 34 won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 35, and Rollins is guaranteed to perform another WrestleMania miracle tonight. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds, C. And introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Seth Rollins! It is the richest prize our industry has to offer. This is the WWE Championship. The road to WrestleMania has led to this. The defending WWE Champion Seth Rollins will take on his former associate, a superstar who some have called the Grave Digger due to his vicious pledge to bury Seth Rollins once and for all in tonight's no DQ WWE Championship match. One of WWE's most fearsome alliances has been shattered by the quest for this WWE Championship, Michael. You have to wonder how those betrayals will affect the outcome of one of the most personal WrestleMania main events we've seen in years. 
You're talking about Murphy, Austin Theory, and Mustafa Ali, aren't you, Byron? That's right. They've all got something on the line tonight in what should be an absolutely brutal no disqualification format. Listen, sometimes the only road to WrestleMania is the low road. Seth Rollins and his opponent know that, but only one of them will leave WrestleMania as champion. Holy meet the barricade. And we know these superstars have everything at their disposal considering this match could end up anywhere in this arena. Oh, just gouging the face. Ripping and tearing at the face. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Here in the announce desk. What a mess. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Tough position to be caught in here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh! The champ now absorbing a little damage. Now it's real good technique reversing Rollins. Ooh! Oh! Saw that one coming. No worries. Everyone get out of the way. Editing all restraints. He climbs into the ring. Just like that, Rollins dodges. Able to evade. Oh, he goes on. Yeah. Absolutely spiked. Hold on, it's Seth Rollins' disciples. Well, last we knew, they weren't medically cleared to be here. Looks like they're going to get revenge for what was done to them on Raw with that shovel. Never underestimate the Monday Night Messiah. We should have known he wasn't going into this match without a backup plan. I know there's been a lot of turmoil between these men, and this is no disqualification, but this is WrestleMania. It's not supposed to end like this. This is going to get ugly. I can't watch. What the hell? What just happened? He hits Seth with the stomp. Could this be it? He's done it. After a shocking turn of events, the Goldberg turned enemies again. Seth Rollins has been dethroned, and we have a new WWE champion. And more than a new champion, it looks like we have a new alliance with a new leader. I think we just saw the birth of a new Monday Night Wrestling. I can't believe it. He's going to get the match in the WWE. Champion, I guess.